All right, I'm gonna do an unboxing video today of what I think is the best pegboard solution on the market. Uh, this pegboard is a metal pegboard made by a company called Wall Control. And I'll do an unboxing and setup, and you can see why I think this is the best. This is not a sponsored video, although I wish it was, but I will be including affiliate links in the description if you wanna buy this yourself. All right, let's go. So when you order one of these, they'll ship it with uh, the panels inside the box, and then when you order the accessories, they'll just stick that in the box. So something to be aware of is that the backs of these panels are sometimes a little sharp. They give you nice stickers on the packaging, you know, warning. You should maybe wear gloves when you put this up. Just be careful. Now, what's so great about these things? They are metal. This pegboard will probably outlive me. It won't be like the ones in the big box store that are made out of a wood type material that eventually the things pull out and the holes break. And another thing that's special about this is wall controls design their own custom hooks that use these slots instead of these typical holes. And their hooks, in my opinion, are far superior to anything that I've seen previously. Here's one of the hooks, and here's a side profile example of it going in. Goes into the slot, and then you kind of pull it down and it locks in a place. If you ever need to take a hook off, it's also super easy. All you have to do is lift it up, tilt it, give it a little wiggle sometimes, comes right out. Now you'll also notice it has these little tabs right here. And if you look at the material that comes with the clips, it shows that you can take some pliers and bend these little tabs and that helps secure it to the surface of the pegboard. These things will not move. These are hands down the best hooks that you can get. It's something special about this company that I'm super impressed with is that they take the time to put the regular holes. If you have pegboard accessories that aren't made by wall control, you don't have to be limited to their proprietary hooks. You can use anything you want. I think that's super cool. They have the better hook, but they're still open-minded enough to say, hey, like we're gonna support other types of attachments. And I even bought some hooks that aren't wall control that I think are great for their particular use, but I definitely prefer the wall control hooks when I can get those for the application that I'm interested in. I already have my basement workshop decked out with these, so I've used them before. I love these things. Now I have a little work area in my garage that I want to put these into. So to get an idea of the size of these, it's roughly 16 inches by 32. They sell these in a variety of colors. I prefer the straight galvanized ones, but if you know you have a certain color scheme you're going for, they have all kinds of things for you. I think these panels are really well thought out. They have enlarged holes where you put your mounting screws so that you're able to get through the panel. If you look at the back of it, you can see it's just folded metal. But these things, are, they're pretty sturdy, especially when they're on the wall. I can flex it a little bit right now, and you can kind of hear that it moves around a bit. But once you mount these things on the wall, they're super sturdy. And the fact that they're metal is also awesome because you can get accessories that have magnets, like little bit holders and stuff like that, and you can just stick it to these things. So here's what I mean. I have this nice little magnetic bit holder, super cheap on Amazon. I'll include links to all this stuff in the description below. But you just slap it on there. Put it in any orientation you want. This thing, it's not going anywhere. How cool is that? Don't even need a hook. Now, there's also other kinds of hooks that I think are interesting to try. I found these on Amazon. Figured I'd give them a shot. They go in the, the round holes. And they do flop around, but they don't pull out. So, I don't know, I thought that could be cool for maybe to try for some wrenches or something like that. You can get a ton of them for super cheap. Another example of something that I think is pretty cool is you can get this like multi kind of tool holder thing that it has the traditional pegboard pegs, but they're on the top and the bottom. So once this is on there, it's really secure. The only thing you have to figure out is there's multiple pieces to this pegboard. So you have to kind of figure out where you want to put it and you might have to clip some of these little pegs off that are in the, the wrong spot in between panels, but not really a big deal. I think this was like 10 bucks, totally worth a try. I'm also gonna give these baskets a shot. They're the traditional pegboard design, but once you load these things up, I don't think they really move. I think I got these at Home Depot. So here's my little work area that I'm gonna deck out with these panels. To get this going, I'm gonna queue up my screw on my drill so I don't have to fumble with it. And then I'm gonna use this really cool level that just has a magnet on it so you can stick it to something. I'll include a link in the description below for one of these. So I'm going to take my panel here, and one of the constraints I'm working with is this outlet. I'm just going to put this right above it. And so what I'm going to do is just slap this on the bottom. And I'm going to align this where I want it on the wall. And then I'm going to check my level. 
make sure I'm in the spot I want to be. Now I'll just sink my screw in. And one thing to note is I'm actually drilling through uh, three quarter plywood, so I can really put screws anywhere I want. But depending on your install, you know, you might have to be sinking those into studs. So uh, read the instructions that come with this and um, make sure, you know, you know what you're doing. If you're going to load this thing up, you don't want it to come crashing down because you didn't attach it in, a, in safe locations. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the two screws that are in the middle because that kind of lets me align everything. And then I'm going to put all the panels up and then I'll do all the screws that are in the corner. Not bad. Now, if only I had a place for my level. Hmm. <laughs> All right, let's put some hooks up. All right, well, there we go. You can see that slapping these things up on the wall is easy. The hooks are great. I think it looks good, it's functional. I don't know, I think it's worth checking out. If uh, you know, you're know you someone who's on the fence, you're saying, ah, I have my stuff all in my toolbox drawers, there's really nothing quite like having a tool at your fingertips, just being able to reach out, grab what you need. I'm gonna include links in the description below to all the products that I use. All right, thanks for watching.